Hi, paparazzi fans. I am Dolly Upshaw, and I'm an independent consultant for Paparazzi. My consultant ID number is 92215. And today I want to bring you a video and show you a way that you can maybe use in your own small business uh, with Paparazzi accessories to inventory and keep track of your jewelry, what you sell when you do certain events, and how you can go back and make sure that you either reorder that item or uh, take it off your list that it's sold so that you know that you no longer have it in your inventory. And it took me several months to figure this out, but this is a system that just over, over time, I was trying to figure out what to do and it just kind of came to me and I even made the comment, I am too smart to be this dumb. I can figure this out. How can I do this? And so I'm gonna show you in a minute how you can do it in, um, your Google applications if you have a Gmail account. But uh, first I wanna show you uh, right around Christmas time, um, I did an event at an elementary school where I put several of uh, my products, um, paparazzi, the accessories into the teacher's lounge. And I had set up a board and just uh, set up just a, a small area where teachers could come in and they could browse. And if they wanted to purchase something, they could purchase it. So what I did was I gave each piece of jewelry. Of course, this is one of our blockbusters that we sell. Um, I gave each piece of jewelry um, a number or um, an event. And so I don't know if this is... Um, backwards it should not be but this is JW2217 and JW is just something that I personally use and it stood for Jacobs Well because that was the elementary school that I was going to be doing the event at and this was jewelry piece 22 and then the year was 17 2017 so you can make your own number however you want uh, your own event because I know a lot of paparazzi consultants are all over the United States and we all have a different way of tracking. But if you can come up with something that's maybe unique to your business or to what you do or your name or an event, you could do it similar to that. Again, I just used JW for Jacob's Well. This was my 22nd piece in my inventory and the year was 17. And since I, I had a small board and only a small area in the teacher's lounge, I believe I only took 30 pieces. And so what happens when I was done with uh, my event in the teacher's lounge and I take all the jewelry uh, down and bring it home, I'm able to go through my inventory sheet and check off which, which jewelry I have and which jewelry I don't have. And so if I don't have it, I know that I sold it because I also substitute teach. So if I'm up there, it's because I'm doing a job in another classroom. So I'm not always standing there to mark off my inventory sheet. But when I come home, I re-inventory and then I know what, what, what sold and then what did not sell. Um, another example, uh, I believe this may be, this was Jacob's Well also. And uh, I just wanted to show you what I did here. It's the same thing. I put Jacob's JW for Jacob's Well. It was my 20th piece of jewelry that I took and the year was 17. So even if I did not, of course, I did not sell this piece of jewelry. So it's still in my inventory and it's saved under my Jacob's Well file in my Google Docs. So I always um, can go back and look and see what some of the teachers really liked, what some of the colors they liked, some of the blends that they liked, um, some of the things that maybe I can put together for them in the future. So I hope that helps. And I'm getting ready to show you. I'm going to take a brief break and I'll come right back so I can actually show you in Google Docs how to do your inventory.